morning and thank you for joining us. Let's start today's technical analysis with the pound dollar pair and the recent events stirring the markets. Emma. The pound rose 0.4% against the dollar in the last trading session. The stochastic indicator is giving a negative signal. The Bitcoin dollar pair rose 0.3% in the last session after gaining as much as 1.2% during the session. The CCI is giving a positive signal. The Aussie rose 0.7% against the dollar in the last trading session. The Williams indicator is giving a positive signal. The dollar dropped 0.5% against the yen in the last session. The ROC's negative signal contradicts our overall technical analysis. Thank you, Emma, for sharing with us. Now let's hear our news department. iFinex, the company responsible for Bitfinex derivatives, announced the launch of a new service offering available to users before the highly anticipated Ethereum merge. The exchange now offers Ethereum chain split tokens. German car makers Volkswagen and Mercedes signed memorandums of understanding with the Canadian government to cooperate on the development of batteries. The agreements were signed during a two-day visit by German Chancellor Olaf Scholz to Canada. Oil rose one dollar a barrel as tight supply moved back into focus as a result of Saudi Arabia floating the idea of OPEC plus output cuts to support prices and the prospect of a drop in US crude inventories. Thank you, Emma. Now let's hear today's most important economic events. The US durable goods orders will be released at 12.30 GMT, the US non-defense capital goods orders at 12.30 GMT, and Finland's producer price index at 0500 GMT. Germany's 10-year bond auction will be released at 0930 GMT, Japan's foreign stock investors at 2350 GMT, and Japan's foreign investment in Japan stocks at 2350 GMT. We hope that you've enjoyed today's market outlook. On behalf of all of us here, we wish you a productive trading day. Be sure to log in tomorrow morning for the latest news and events from the financial markets.